All right, Donald Trump has ramped up his outreach to African Americans. My goal is to provide every African American child in our country with access to the ladder of American success. That means good education and a great paying job. He's hitting the trail, but are his policies the right ones for the black community? And will it matter? Jennifer Burke is the editor-in-chief for uh, Politistic, and she joins us now. Nice to see you this morning, Jennifer. Good to see you as well. So the argument is that this is, well, first of all, the argument is that his policies are better for African Americans. And for so long, under liberal policies, they, we've had record black youth unemployment and all kinds of problems in the black community. Will that message resonate with black voters? You know, it should resonate. I, I, I just want to say I'm not, I'm not a huge Trump supporter, but he is right when it comes to, to Democrat policies. I mean, just look at what, is, what has happened to the black community un, under Obama. They're faring far worse economically uh, than, than, than ever before. I mean, it's, it's actually disastrous. And one of the first things that Obama did when he took office was try to take away school choice, which is something that Hillary Clinton also agrees with. Now, uh, the taking away of school choice. Now, Democrats love to say that they are the party of choice, but they're not the party of choice when it comes to something that's going to actually be beneficial to children, period, but especially black children. There are a lot of failing black schools. I mean, that's just the reality. And the school choice program would open up more options to, to parents everywhere to get, give their kids an actual shot at achieving the American well, dream. And if Democrats truly believe in that, they would support school choice policy. Jennifer, that's a great point. I mean, and we're going to put up a couple of statistics really quick. A poll from uh, Education Next that shows that African Americans, they would prefer, if, if, whenever possible, the ability to have school vouchers and charter schools by overwhelming numbers. 58% mm -hmm. support the ability to have school vouchers over 18% opposed. 44% support charter schools over 18% support. So if the black community wants the ability to send their kids to the best possible schools, which anyone would want, regardless Regardless of race, why do those politicians block? And there's the poll right there. 58% want school vouchers, the ability to go to a different school if your school is failing you. Why is it that liberal politicians like Hillary Clinton are so fixated on saying, no, no school choice for you uh, when you're trapped in failing schools? It's all about control. I mean, it's, it's been that mm. way with the Democrat Party for decades. It is all about control. Within the, the public school system, I, there are some conservatives within it. I mean, I have a few conservative friends that are, that are teachers. But overwhelmingly, from K through grad school, liberals control the policies. And we've seen them turn more into indoctrination centers than actually teaching some of the core things that students should know. That's why kids graduate from high school, if they're lucky, and, and actually have to take some remedial courses in college because they haven't learned a lot of the things that, that they should learn. And, and we've seen, I have many friends also who homeschool, and we've seen the government slowly dip its hand yeah. mm -hmm. in the homeschooling as right. well to have that control. Yeah. That's right. why they don't like school choice. All right, Jennifer Burke, thanks for joining us this morning. Good to have you. Thank thanks, you. Jennifer.